Let's talk about how to create badges and assign them to modules in Canvas so that your students can earn badges whenever they finish a module. I will tell you from the beginning, this is an advanced skill. You're going to have to use multiple websites. And I would suggest that you only use this if you already have modules built in Canvas. That's kind of the number one requirement. Um, but if you want to give it a shot, then go ahead and give it a try. The very first step in my mind is to go ahead and create the badge that you want to connect to the module. It's just easier in my mind to do it that way. And I actually use the website Canva to create my badges. Now Canva is different than Canvas. A lot of people get them confused. Canvas with an S is the LMS that we're looking at right now. Canva is a website that you can use to create free graphics like posters and things like that. And that's what I would suggest you use because it's super simple and it's free. So let's go look at Canva. So once you made your Canva account, then you can in the little search bar type in badge and um, I like to use these square ones that are called logos and they are super easy for you to go ahead and take and just edit. You can add in graphics and change the words. Um, they are 500 by 500 pixels. Like this one is one that I like to use. I would just click use this template. Now I already have some made, so I'm going to go to mine that I have made. So down here in recent designs. And when it comes up, it's going to look something like this. And these are the ones that I've made. So you can see how it's very similar to this one. I've just changed the colors and the wording and added the graphic. So um, I like Canva because, like I said, it's easy to use. You can layer things and it's free. So this is my one for theme and symbolism. I've got one for irony. I have one for rhetoric. I have one for persuasive or persuasive unit. And then this is my new one for stems, and it's the one we're going to work on today. So once you've created it, you're going to need to download it as a PNG. So I'm going to click download. And I just need the stems one. So I'm going to say done. I'm going to come down and um, I use something that's premium, but I'm just going to say I want the watermarked draft. And it's going to download it and I'm good to go. Okay, here's the next step. Then you're going to need to go to Badger, which is spelled B-A-D-G-R, and create an account. I create an account that matches um, the email that I'm using in Canvas. Um, so my school email, I want everything to match. So once you do that, you'll create an issuer, which will be yourself, and then you are ready to connect this account with your Canvas account. So in order to connect these accounts, you're going to come over here on the left to the navigation menu and you're going to hit badges. And then Badger is going to come up. Now the first time it comes up, the first time you use it, you're going to have to connect the accounts. Okay, You're going to have to connect the account you made with your Canvas account. All right. Um, and that is sometimes the most complicated part of the whole experience. So my suggestion would be that you maybe look at a tutorial that can walk you through that step by step. Mine's already connected, um, so I cannot show that to you. You can go to settings and go to apps. And you will see, we want the U.S. if you're in the U.S. And mine's already installed, but if it wasn't, then you would have to um, install it and add this app. Okay, so mine's already on here. I will link a video down below that will show you how to do that if you don't know how to. And you're going to pick your issuer. Um, so mine, it would come up like this. And I would just say, okay, this is the person I want to use. I want to use me, and I'm good to go. 
So you're going to notice all your modules come up, which is why I said you have to have modules in here in order to assign badges to them. And you have to, um, for the type, it has to be complete module. They don't let you do it for like an individual quiz or test or assignment. It's for if they finish the whole module. So something to keep in mind is if you want students to earn more badges, you should probably create more modules that are smaller so they can get through them and get more badges. So in order to assign a badge to a module, you're going to click on this little down arrow and you're going to click create new badge. You're going to upload that PNG that you just downloaded from Canva. Give it a name, give it a description, and give it criteria. They do have a badge studio that you can use that I've played with before, and if you don't want to use Canva, you can go in and use that. So I already have this one made, so I'm going to click STEMS Authority. It's going to link it, and then if I click on it, you'll see this badge is for students who have completed the entire STEMS vocabulary module. And then I'm the issuer. And you will see you've got a couple features. You can see students' progress as they go through modules, um, if they're receiving their badge or not, and also a leaderboard who has the most modules. Students are really competitive, so they do like that aspect. And you've done it. You have created badges. You have linked your Badger and Canvas accounts. You've installed the Badger app if you didn't already have it. And you have linked badges to specific modules for students to earn.